General Juarez assassinated by an unknown assailant. I just can't believe that you came home from Vietnam and turned that into a business. That's incredible. Well, it's not like a regular business. I mean, it's not something I do just for the money. There's got to be a damn good reason. Such as? Well, let's say some crazy dictator gets a hold of nuclear weapons. Now, that's a threat to world peace. That's what I call a reason. Now, if that ever happens, I get a call from the CIA within 24 hours. <laughs> you should write a book. <laughs> well, in this business, is smarter to keep a low profile. I got a little boy to think about. Oh. I didn't think that you were married. Well, separated. Who's your son living with? His mother? No, he lives with my mother from Columbia. You have any pictures of him? Mm -hmm. I see him. Oh, he's gorgeous. <laughs> he looks just like you. I suppose you're wondering why we've spent all this time together and I haven't even mentioned the reason I called you. you know, I thought maybe you were enjoying my company. It uh, seems like such a small thing compared to what you're used to. Is it small to you? No. No, not to me. It has to do with my sister's kids. Two boys, seven and 12. The problem is her ex-husband, Harley. Harley Pierce. He has joint custody, and he's a very dangerous man. He's violent. The boys come back home to my sister with welts and bruises all over their bodies. Um. I'm just afraid that he's going to do things to those kids that just can't be undone. And my sister is just too weak to stand up to him, so she turned to me, and I, I don't know, I don't know how to protect him. But I tell you what I'd do. I'd do the same thing to him that he does to those kids. No, that's not going to stop him. Let me tell you something. Every animal on the face of this earth, I don't care if he's human or not, has a breaking point. You know what I wish? all our problems. You want some pizza? Forget pizza. I gotta wait for you to get permanent custody of your kids. What? What? You <laughs> well, you have been saying for over a year that you wished Harley was dead and that if he was, you'd get your kids and you'd collect $60,000 off his life insurance policy. So what'd you do? Go out and buy yourself a gun? I hired one. But... He thinks that he's coming down here to slap Harley around. When he gets here, we have to convince him that nothing short of blowing the guy off. You hired a professional killer to come down here and off my ex-husband? Hey, you want custody of your kids? You want to get that turkey out of the neighborhood, don't you? I've been saying that for 10 years. Right. Scum ain't worth the garbage on his front yard. He plays that music all hours of the day and night. He keeps his windows wide open, walks around half naked. I know. This is the perfect solution. We just have to convince this guy to do it. You mean we have to pay him money? No, I mean we have to convince him. He won't do it just for the money. Suppose we convince him. Well, the CIA pays him $10,000. 
$10,000? Where are we gonna get $10,000? Cheryl, if I worried about having every nickel in my pocket before I spent it, I'd still be living out on the avenue. Daddy! Daddy! Hey! Hey, big guy! How you doing? We thought you'd be home hours ago. Well, I got sidetracked. Everything okay? Better than that. I met someone who's going to change my life in a very important way. Come on, sport, let's go. Demolition, chopper, you have reached the headquarters of World Security Group. Please leave a message after the tone. Hi. Hey. I didn't expect you'd be there. Well, I work nights, remember? Mm-hmm. Do you, uh, remember what we talked about, my sister's kids? Sure. Well, I told her what you said about everybody having a breaking point, and she said that she wants to think about it. That's fine. Uh, in the meantime, I was wondering if want to get together again. Where and when? Any chance that you can come down to Gainesville this weekend? I'm flying a recon mission out in Oregon. I won't be back till Friday night. Well, could you come Saturday and stay over till Sunday? Oh, after Friday, I'm wide open. Well, I'll make a hotel reservation, and I'll call you back. Till then. You know what? Even if you did talk them into it, there's no way I can hustle up ten grand before the hearing. Well, I'm living on plastic. I doubt if he takes a credit card. There's always Grandma's house. for John Hearn. It's a suite, actually. Two rooms overlooking the lake, king-size bed, non-smoking. If you would just fill out the registration card. Uh, what's the uh, charge for this room? Two fifty a night. Uh, but it's already been charged to a credit card. Well, I tell you what, son, I don't think it's that big a deal. I'll be there, all right? Don't worry about it, okay? Well, I know I said that I'd be there this weekend, but I got hung up. <laughs>